Welcome to another interesting lesson on household pests. Today, we're looking at prevention and destruction of household pests. Get ready to learn. Let's find it out the danger of pests. The danger of pests to your family. Pests can be danger um, to the exterior and interiors of your home. But the danger of pests does not stop there. This unwelcome guest, animal, insect, can not only cause real expensive damage to your home, but they can also pose serious health risks to people. Pests can hurt aggressively if they feel trapped or threatened. They can also carry dangerous disease and parasites and transmit them through the bite, dropping, or feces. What are the characteristics of pests? The characteristics of pests are widely discussed among the uh, pest experts. However, some definition different. They all contain similarity. To become a pest, an organism must possess three characteristics. So for any pest to become a pest, it must well possess three characteristics that we are going to look at. The first one is an existing suitable appetite is needed. That is for any pest to be able to... Um, to, to, to stay, it needs what? An existing suitable habitat. That is, for an animal to survive, it needs what? A suitable food, it needs shelter, and it needs what? It needs a breeding, a very suitable breeding place. So, the first characteristic of what a pest is what? An existing suitable habitat. The second characteristic is what? A high population and breeding rate to expand into the habitat. So they need a lot of uh, population. They will keep expanding, keep giving birth. For example, a termite uh, colony consists of a high population as well as a rapid breeding rate. Termites alone could not cause a huge amount of damage, but 1,000 of termites have the ability to destroy a home. The last one, that is the last characteristic of a pest, is what? Um, an opportunity to cause some form of injury to men. They always looking for an opportunity to cause injury to with the human being. It is the major factor that pests are referred to as what? As a pest is the potential to affect humanity in a negative way. It could be plant pests um, damaging crops or the one that is biting human beings and spreading disease. So you can see the three characteristics of a pest, to call them a pest, they must have what? a suitable habitat to stay, a breeding place, and the opportunity for them to cause an injury to a human being. Why do we need to prevent pests? I'm sure you should know that answer by now. Why do we need to prevent pests? Pest um, control is necessary because they carry disease, destroy your kitchen, this, uh, destroy your home, your bedroom, and they buy to and the rest. So the purpose of removing any kind of pest from your home or garage or surrounding environment is to keep you what safe and healthy. For example, rats can leave faces on or near food they find in your kitchen. So you can see the need why we need to prevent um, pests. In order for us to have what a safety and a holding life. What are the damaging effects of pests? I know you know the answer. What are the damaging effects 
of uh, uh, the damaging effects of pests. When you have pests in your home, that is the household pests. When you have any one of them in your home, it is sometimes seen like keeping the numbers under control is an unending battle. It is tempting to wonder what will have happened if you just talked that you are not even bothered about it. What do you think will happen? That you allow them to do whatever they want. It's very tempting to even imagine that. Fighting them, however, if what are the damaging effects of pests? Do you know the answer to that? When you have pests in your home, it is sometimes seems like keeping the numbers under control is an unending battle. It is tempting to wonder what will happen if you just stop fighting them. Do you know what will happen if you decided to leave them alone? However, if let pests run rapidly in your own or you allow them to do whatever they want in your home, you are setting yourself up for any number of losses from earth to your own. We are going to look at some um, effects or the damaging effects of um, the pest. Let's find them out. The damaging effects of pests. What did the first thing they do? They carry disease. They carry disease such as cockroach, rats, mosquito, oh, these are common carrier for diseases. What did they do? Allergies. Some people, some pests carry allergies into the home. The feces can cause an allergic reaction. And lastly, of the effect of the damaging effect that this pest can do is house damages. Insects can also cause what? Structural damage to your home. So all these are the what? Are the damaging effect of pests to our home. They carry disease, they carry allergies, and their home damages. Let's look at a, a pest uh, prevention tips. Household pests hands a simple, annoying pest. They are severely affect our health and the health of our family. So this is why household pest prevention is critical in protecting homes, businesses, schools, and any other fun places where human beings live, works, or play from a pest infestation. Learning how to get rid of household pests is an essential to make your home more pleasant, protect uh, your food, avoid a series of diseases that can be caused by these agents. We are going to look at a simple way to get rid of household pests, and we will adopt this method on a daily basis to make our home even more pleasant. Ways to prevent household pests. Let's look at the ways um, to prevent household pests. To, be, to prevent a household pest, the breeding place must be destroyed. So that's the first thing you need to do. The breeding place of an household um, pest must be destroyed. Example of the breeding place. You know, when we are talking about breeding place, we mean where they stay. So you must first destroy that place. Now, example of the breeding place are dirty uh, places like a refuse area, standing water, dirty zinc, suck away, poor sewage system, bushes around the house, dirty gutters, pond, empty container with dirty water. You know, we talked about it, the household, uh, household pet, they like to stay where? In a dark and dirty places. So that one should give you a food for thoughts. ways to prevent household pest. Therefore, now to prevent the breeding place of an household pest, the house and its surrounding must be kept clean by seeing to this following. The house and the environment must be what? Must be kept clean. Number one, all utensils must what? Must be washed. All the utensils in the house. So don't just leave your plates lying down 
you must wash them immediately. Number two, refuse are properly disposed by burning or burying. So you want to dispose your refuse bins. Is that you burn it or you bury it? Gutters and sewage system are what are clean. They must always be clean. The zinc and the zinc are kept clean by pouring. Um, you can pour boiling water in them from time to time. That is your uh, zinc. Just boil water. You pour it to make it clean. That is also to prevent, especially cockroach. Empty tins and broken bottles should be disposed of by burning. Bushes around the house are cut regularly. If there is any stagnant water that cannot be re um, removed, you can pour kerosene or oil on it. All food should be kept and covered. I repeat, all food, don't leave your food open. Your leftover food, you must what? You must cover them. Some people like to keep um, cats in the house to scare the rats. I don't know whether that one still works these days. But you can use a mosquito wire. Uh, that is a mosquito wire netting on your windows and door to prevent a, a mosquito. And using of a rat poison is not allowed. It's not encouraged. A lot of things has happened when some people will use rat poison when little kids can cause uh, can go there and it will cause another damaging effect. So all these are the ways for you to prevent an household pest in your home.